Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for January 3rd, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. AA thoughts for the day. Joyous. We have been speaking to you of a serious, sometimes tragic things. We have been dealing with alcohol in its worst aspects, but we aren't a glum lot. If newcomers could see no joy in our existence, they wouldn't want it. We absolutely insisted on enjoying life. We try not to indulge in cynicism over the state of the nations, nor do we carry the world's troubles on our shoulders. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 132. Thought to consider. Laughter is the sound of recovery. Acronyms. H-J-F. Happy, joyous, free. Just for today, prayer from the three legacies of Alcoholics Anonymous. A news clipping whose content was to become famous was called to our attention by a New York member, Newsman Jack. It was an obituary notice from the New York paper. Underneath a routine account of the one who had died there appeared these words. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It's usually attributed to Reinhold Neuber. Never have we seen so much AA in so few words. With Ruth and I admiring the prayer and wondering how to use it, friend Howard walked into the office. Confirming our own ideas, he exclaimed, we ought to print this on cards and drop one in every piece of mail that goes out from here. I'll pay for the first printing. For several years afterwards, we followed his suggestion and with amazing speed, the serenity of prayer came into general use and took its place alongside our two other favourites, the Lord's Prayer and the Prayer of St. Francis. Alcoholics Anonymous comes of age, page 196. Daily Reflections Powerless We admitted we were powerless over alcohol and that our lives had become unmanageable. From 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 21. It's no coincidence that the very first step mentions powerlessness. An admission of a personal powerlessness over alcohol is a cornerstone of the foundation of recovery. I have learned that I do not have the power and control I once thought I had. I am powerless over what people think about me. I am powerless over having just missed the bus. I am powerless over how other people work or don't work the steps. But I have also learned I am not powerless over some things. I am not powerless over my attitudes. I am not powerless over negativity. I am not powerless over assuming responsibility for my own recovery. I have the power to exert a positive influence on myself, my loved ones and the world in which I live. As Bill sees it, pain and progress. Years ago I used to commiserate with all people who suffered. Now I commiserate only with those who suffer in ignorance, who do not understand the purpose and ultimate utility of pain. Someone once remarked that pain is the touchstone of spiritual progress. How heartily we AAs can agree with him, for we know the pains of alcoholism had to come before sobriety and continued turmoil before serenity. Believe more deeply, hold your face up to the light, even though the moment you do not see. It's from the letter 1950, 12 and 12 pages 93 to 94, and the letter 195. Big Book Quote Reminding ourselves that we have decided to go to any lengths to find a spiritual experience, we ask that we be given strength and direction to do the right thing, no matter what the personal consequences may be. Alcoholics Anonymous, Interaction, page 79. 24 hours a day. A thought for the day. When I came into A, I learned what an alcoholic was, and then I applied this knowledge to myself to see if I was an alcoholic. When I was convinced that I was an alcoholic, I had admitted it openly. Since then, have I been learning to live accordingly? Have I read the book Alcoholics Anonymous? Have I applied the knowledge gained to myself? Have I admitted openly that I am an alcoholic? Am I ready to admit it at any time when I can be of help? Meditation for the day. I will be renewed. I will be remade. In this, I need God's help. His spirit shall flow through me, and in flowing through me, it shall sweep away all the bitter past. I will take heart. The way will open for me. Each day will unfold something good, as long as I am trying to live the way I believe God wants me to live. 
Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be taught just as a child would be taught. I pray that I may never question God's plans, but accept them gladly. It's from Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name's Craig, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.